Hello and welcome to Whose Line Is It Anyway, which is an improvisation programme. There will be a number of off-the-cuff games to be played in a moment by a collection of actors, comedians and masochists. And uh, the four volunteers to stand on the quick-firing line tonight are Tony Slattery. He's an actor who's played the title role in Me and My Girl, so that means he's either played me or, or my girl. <laughs> Or my girl. And then from the US, we're pleased to welcome Betty Thomas. She's perhaps best known over here for her portrayal of Sergeant Lucy Bates in Hill Street Blues. So I reckon she's a sort of American Dixon of Doc Green. <laughs> the, and then next we have uh, Paul Merton. Uh, now, there's been enormous public response since Paul last appeared on the programme. But uh, despite that, we decided we'd uh, <laughs> have him back anyway. And, and finally, our resident scallywag, John Sessions, who no doubt will be wagging his scally later on in the evening. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the contestants. Uh, now, uh, the uh, first game is called Authors, so can I ask the contestants to come down and get into the uh, improvising position, the, the lowest level there, we like to aim for that. Uh, now, uh, Authors is a game where they have a little bit of preparation in the sense that uh, they can, each of them, each of them have chosen an author whose style they've come along with, ready to improvise in. But in a moment, I'm going to get the, a suggestion from somebody in the studio audience for a title for a story for them to tell. And they'll take it in turns telling it, moving on as I press this buzzer like this. So first of all, I'll just get the authors you've gone for. Uh, Tony, uh, which author have you chosen to adopt the style of? Well, I'd like to have a crack at William Burroughs. William Burroughs? Well, well why not? I'd like to have a crack at him as well. <laughs> now, <laughs> Uh, Betty, Betty Thomas. Mickey Spillane. Mickey Spillane, our firm ground there. And Paul? Barbara Cartland. Barbara Cartland, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, one of my favourites. And John? Anthony Burgess. Anthony Burgess, right. OK, so now we need a suggestion for a uh, title for the story. Has someone got a really good one? They've come along? Jack and the Beanstalk. Jack and the Beanstalk. <laughs> well, that'll be very topical around about, uh, <laughs> around about October when this show goes out. Uh, Jack and the Beanstalk, OK. Uh, can you manage that? Starting off, uh, Tony? Starting with your author, go. Jack was a junkie, eyes oozing pus at the top of the beanstalk, <laughs> eyes strangulated like swollen tongues. Well, the beanstalk wasn't saying too much neither. Get off your Mustang, Sally. Who do you think you are? I'm talking junk, I'm talking drugs at the top, his nipples firm to the kiss of the shower. <laughs> the twin downy hemispheric globes of his buttocks slid down the beanstalk. He needed another fix on sewage canal. <laughs> I've seen that beanstalk a million times before. Sure, I knew he was tough, I knew he could talk, but who was this Jack fellow? And what was wrong with my head? Why had I dra That's it, a Mickey. Somebody slipped me a Mickey last night. Must have been that dame. Yeah, that dame, she bills herself as beanstalk. Why didn't I think of that? As the sun glistened on the beanstalk's green, beautiful skin, <laughs> Dr. Edward Palmer crossed the floor of the operating theatre. He had in one hand a diseased kidney <laughs> and in the other a bouquet of flowers. Jack walked into the room and Dr. Palmer turned and said, One of these. Are one of these beans that uh, one is talking of is, of course, a bean going back to bean talking, talking or as a bee. And what might be interesting it is Jack, John, Giacomo, Johannes. And uh, I, of course, was born, Jack, on a bean, and a bean talks, as indeed a bean can talk, even as we have been into the past tense. And this is very interesting if you like to go up your own fundament, as I do. Try again. Thank you. All right, resume your seats. Yeah. Thank you. Well... Well, I, I have to award uh, points for these games, and I'll give uh, 50 points to everybody there, apart from uh, to John Sessions, and I'll give him 25 for going on such a lot. Um, but it's fair enough. Now, the next game is called Film and Theatre Styles. We'll need the studio audience's assistance again on this one, because they'll have to give us a selection of film and theatre styles in which the contestants will be improvising. We'll be dividing into pairs. So, first, first of all, Paul and Tony, can you come forward? Uh, I'm going to give you a situation to improvise in. And then I'll cut in with the variety of different styles that the audience suggests to us. And I'll just make a list of them, first of all. So, have you got a, a favourite theatre or film style that you like? Sorry? Carry 
Mine. Mine? Well, that's... Greek tragedy. Greek tragedy. Hollywood epic. Hollywood epic. Soap operas. Soap operas. Restoration. Yeah, hang on, we've... Wait, wait, wait. wait. I'll go, go with musical, I think. We've had restoration before, and... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Wait, 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 we've got, we've got enough now, we've got enough now. Save them up for the next, the next pairing, else we'll never get through this particular run. So, um, your situation, I've got to give you, is um, a homeowner uh, speak, speaking to his builder. So you can divide up who you want to be, homeowner and builder. Either you've got a home, or you <laughs> probably are a builder. I've got a complaint. Uh, what, what about the plumbing or, or, or the brickwork, which? Uh, the plumbing, the brickwork, the floorboards, the lack of them, no roof, no walls. In fact, it's just a building site with a piece of card with your house written on it. Uh, going to Greek tragedy. The problem is the builder has just been murdered off stage. <laughs> Not Stavros, surely. <laughs> no, Aeschylus with... A knife dripping in the Mediterranean sun. He plastered his bricks and died. That's rather unlucky in Peckham, isn't it? <laughs> okay, go to Hollywood epic. But the Peckham I speak of, of course, is not the Peckham of South London. The Peckham I speak of is the Peckham of my family, my forefathers. No more, Claudius. <laughs> You speak of you bends and pipes of which you know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but why afraid me, sire? <laughs> <laughs> Musical. You know? I bet this reminds you of a song, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, finish, finish on the soap opera. Your plumber's dead. He was murdered by the spirit of your dead father. And I'm expecting his baby. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Oh. All right. That, that was a uh, very good offering there. A lot of effort. Give three points each. Uh, now, it's uh, John and Betty. And your situation is you've got to be a husband and wife arguing over a map. OK, a just map. think about, yes, a map and map reading generally. Just hang okay. on a minute, I'll get a few more suggestions of styles. Bogart. 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 Sorry. Method acting. Method acting, yes, that sounds good. Oh, Sorry, one from over there. Mime. Mime? Oh, we've had mime before. Healing comedy. Healing comedy. No, healing comedy, sorry. <laughs> La malade imaginaire or something. Now, um, OK, I think we've got enough there. No, no, we've got masses now. What an enthusiastic audience we've got tonight. We've sat here three weeks and got two suggestions, and <laughs> we've all been saving them up, haven't you? OK, so can you start off with your, your map? Do you have maps in America? Yes, of course you do. <laughs> what are you doing, honey? <laughs> you don't do it that way. I've told you before, right? I told you at breakfast time, I told you when we took the Chevy Nova out of the garage. <laughs> that you open the map, you fold it that way, and then you say, that is where we're going. That is where we're going. That is where we're just good. We're gonna... So let's go into Ealing comedy. <laughs> now, what I demand for you, I'll tell you what I demand for you. What? It's a lovely drive, a lovely drive. Yeah. Come on, clear out of it, you kids, come on out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, let's go into a, a mime, or it could be a silent movie, I suppose. Okay. Yeah, plenty of miming and laughter there as well. Uh, let's. <laughs> some biters dancing. <laughs> let's go into some method acting. Don't tell me I can't. Don't tell you what, huh? You're full of it, huh? I'm, I. I am full of it. You're full of it. Yeah, you give me pain. <laughs> I'm all pain here, and you know, cause you married my father. I'm Bogart. Humphrey Bogart, I suppose. Could be Dirk Bogart, but uh, yeah. I think we'll Humphrey Bogart. <laughs> we'll be going up to Whistler's Hollow. You know where Whistler's Hollow? Where's that from here? Is it over the hill? <laughs> yeah, that's it. 
It's over the hill. You, you, know, uh, you know how to get to Whistler's Hollow, don't you? I do, but I tell you something. <laughs> I came back from the war two years ago. I thought I was coming back to a world that was happy and simple and straight. <laughs> right. I think, we, I think we've done a lot there. So while I work out the points of that round, let's go away while people try and sell you things. Back in a moment. <laughs>